channel. So this is going to be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless. So when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, thank you so much for donating towards my channel energetically by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. All right, so we got the fairy bee. My life is sweet. We got a loyal guardian. The magical protector um, is here for you. The number is 33, so that's a master number. All right, and we have Kit Sun. I will show you whom to trust. So the number six being there, significant or important. So your birthday could be um, March the 6th. The magical protector. That could be an angel, a guardian, or a spirit animal. Could be a uh, physical animal. That number is 33. Somebody could be 33 years old, but 3 plus 3 is also 6. So you got 66. Somebody may be 66 years old. Somebody could potentially be, could have been born in 66 as well. All right. And Kit Sun, I will show you whom to trust. Another spirit animal. So basically being there. Two being significant or important could be February life path number. Uh uh. <laughs> okay, two could be a life path number and two being in February. Um, you could potentially be dealing with an Aquarius or another water sign. Um, your birthday could be March the 2nd, significant or important. And six being there is June. So you could potentially be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer. Okay, either way, you may have come into contact or you may be in contact with your spirit animal. But either way, Somebody will show you who to trust. Your life is sweet. Things are being set up in order for it to be beautiful, amazing, wonderful. But you have a magical protector, okay? A guardian. All right. So, impossible things are happening. Mortality. And who in the world are you? All right, Pisces. So impossible things are happening for you. The number 34 being there or 43. So somebody may be 34 years old or somebody may be 43 years old. Four and three is seven. So that's July. So Cancer and Leo energy. Um, working through disbelief, imagination, uh, imaginative leaps. So things that are just amazing. Okay, a possible, impossible things, things that are unbelievable, having a fresh perspective on a situation or set of circumstances, okay? Um, yeah, go with that. Um, <laughs> for 242, mortality, because I feel like I was going to say go with God. So I don't know why, but so the vibe that it gave me was somebody may have passed over to the other side and maybe you either smelling this person sensing this person or this person making themselves aware to you which impossible things most people don't believe that you could see the shadows or the ghosts or the energy of the person so i was really great hesitate on saying it so but either way that's what it was all right 42 mortality which this card goes along with, um, life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. So life is long, but it's short. Somebody may have expired in a situation. Cause as you see, that's kind of like a skeleton. And I don't know why I got that little eye there. And that's a little bit weird. Somebody may be 42 years old or somebody may be 24 years old. Four plus two is six. Again, we're back to Gemini, which is now 666, which keeps coming out in the reading and synchronicities being a thing so take it how it resonates for you but life is beautiful life is brief but it's yours so it being yours live it how you want to because we got 19 here your birthday may, may be february the 19th or march the 19th march the 7th march the 6th all the other dates okay um 
who who in the world are you? So again, this card always gives me somebody may be asking who are you, who you think you are. But you could potentially be trying to figure out who you are in this world. All right, so getting to know, to know the new you. Lots of things may have changed for you. Either way, you getting to know who and what you are, okay? So who are you? Who are you now? Um, maybe because this person is not here. Um, who are you now with everything you have gone through? All right, so we're going to get an oracle card. So a question that you may be asking for yourself when you got here. Um, let's see what it is. So somebody would like for you to reconsider. All right, reconsider their proposal. Reconsider them. Um, they, you may be asking somebody to reconsider. Take a heart resonates for you, okay? So romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you may have romantic feelings for someone or somebody may have romantic feelings for you, but they're saying it's worth exploring this situation. So somebody that you may have ran into and I'm not getting the vibe of anybody past, like past exes or any of that. This gives me the vibe of a person that you may have just run into and this person could potentially be saying, can you please reconsider me? And this card also says flirt. So be lighthearted, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So somebody that you may have walked by, passes by, but either way, can you reconsider them? Somebody is in your energy, They're, they are thinking of you. You could be thinking of them. Because again, depending upon who we're talking to, because it'd be cross washers. So engagements here. Your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment. So, yeah, somebody wants you to reconsider them as a choice or you want somebody to reconsider you as a choice. Either way, your love life is ascending to a higher level. So some type of engagement and an engagement could be an engagement in, as in marriage or an engagement as you and this person coming together to, you know, kind of hang out. Netflix and chill on the table, okay? Yeah, all right. Um, your love, <laughs> your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. So dealing with your childhood trauma, um, the things that your parents may have, or you may have seen growing up either way, your love life may change if you get a better perspective or different thought on the situation. And I don't know how I sat here with no cards, but Okay. <sighs> It's easily fixable, so the situation is easily fixed. All right. Okay, what does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? So impossible things are happening. Something that you may have thought finished. Or done something that is new something that is fresh something that you may have never even considered being a possibility is actually on the table because impossible things are happening and who are you in this world so they're saying they will show you who to trust you may not have been able to trust these old people or these old situations but they're about to show you who you can be in alignment with okay so find your inspiration and take action, okay? So preparation, progress, foresight, enterprise, activity, expansion, overseas opportunities, and moving forward, okay? Um, you fo your focus on your goals will get you, gain you great success. So find your inspiration and focus on your goals. So whatever the thing is that you love or you like to do, do that. And that's going to bring you great success. That's like movement and everything else. So travel being in your energy as well, because you got two traveler cards, it looks like. Um, manifesting, a manifestation, um, reflecting financial, financially, financial opportunities, development, ambition, desire, diligence, news, and information being here. So you may be about to get some information about your money or your stability. It may be a little bit of information or a little bit of progress in that direction but either way progress is progress so 
when you're thankful with a little, God will provide a lot, okay? So I've got my eye on my goals and I'm enjoying every moment of it. So knowing what you want, where you want to go, and the direction. Um, also being di very diligent in a situation, continuing to keep pushing forward. So I feel like that's being very ambitious, action-oriented, and wanting to, you know, figure out what it is that you need to do. So we got inspiration, ideas, discovery, limitless potential, a free spirit. So exploring, exploration, trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. But lots of news, more news happening on the forefront. So this could be like you basically gaining insight, meditating, contemplating, and basically trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. There's also messages here coming in. Um, information, excitement, and freedom. So new opportunities being held or being had. We also have an Ace of Cups here. So new love, new emotions, new new feelings pertaining to a situation. So also giving a different perspective about something, someone, all right? So love, compassion, creativity, new feelings, inspiration, spirit, spirituality, intuition, new baby, proposals, and marriage. So somebody is different. Somebody that was in your energy or that has been around you before is now different. And like I said, I'm not giving y'all no X vibes. I'm giving you something that you may not have even considered. It might have been something that you are a person that you were, you may have crossed paths with when you were with that last person. It ain't the last person. So somebody wants to, wants you to reconsider or rethink about maybe a proposal that they gave you. Either way, this person has changed. So either this person is now into spirituality or this person is definitely like ascending and leveling up. All right. So a marriage could be a blend or it could just be a marriage. So somebody could potentially be about to get in a relationship or in some type of commitment pertaining to like a marriage. All right, let's see what else we got here. I'm getting somebody's not taking no for an answer. So either way, whatever happened, um, personal growth, like I said, somebody has changed. Somebody's energy, energy signature has changed. And you may not have looked at this person because you were with somebody else, but they asking or they're asking, can you take a second look, take a second glance? Um, endings bring in new beginnings and you're not in the situation, previous situation that you were in before, or this person is not the same. And there was a transformation in this person's energy, a metamorphosis, an end of a cycle. So this person may have let go of who they were with, whatever situation that was, because all I hear is shining, 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 shining. Yeah. All of this winning. Yeah, somebody winning. And they want you to win with them. What I said. A queen of pentacles energy. So growth, abundance. Um, focus on your, your home, your family, your success, and your abundance. Nurturing things practically. Nurturing practical, supportive, reliable, providing financially, a working parent, and security. So definitely working on your foundation. And lots of... Yeah, this is a nice little reading here okay just know that so something has changed somebody wants you to reconsider them reevaluate a situation and a queen of pentacles what i say somebody's energy signature has changed and all i'm hearing is and something you it had this it, it took time so yeah somebody's matching your fly as you see and all of this winning. So y'all two coming together, it's a lot of winning. All right, so let's see what we have. You solve yours and other people's problems with very practical ways. So this person may have had to deal with a few, you know, situations, tie up a few, a few loose ends. But this person, you have always been in their mind and they was always coming back. They was always wanting to spin the block. So they hoping that you will reconsider. So whoever this person is for you. And again, like I said, it ain't giving me your ex vibes. It's giving me your next vibes. Okay. So you figure it out either way. Wealth, business. Um, you probably was with somebody at the time and they probably were with somebody at the time. Either way, y'all had maybe a moment in time and this person knew that you were about to be up next. So yeah. Take it how it resonates for you. Leadership, security, discipline, protective, successful, authority, abundance, prosperity, 
uh, generosity and comfort. So you and this person living in the lap of luxury, you and this person matching energies, you and this person basically coming together to build something different. I will show you who to trust. It says at the very beginning, your life is sweet and that you have a magical protector. So impossible things happening and impossible things manifesting themselves, working through disbelief. Like you're going to be shocked to shit that this even happened. Either way, you had to step back and get a fresh perspective or, or a fresh dynamic in your situation. They had to do the same because temperance is at the bottom of the deck. So things had to be brought in balance. So who are you getting to know the new you? Who are you in this energy or who are you with this person? Who are you with this connection? Who are you with somebody that matches your energy? Who are you now? So just know somebody has romantic feelings for you. There's an engagement and there's that's two engagements, a proposal and an engagement and healing family issues. So this is a healthy dynamic and relationship for you. So yeah, Pisces, this is the reading. Thank you guys for coming. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and <laughs> yeah, go with God.